here's my mama, everybody, and she's going to be making her famous cowboy cornbread for y'all today. And here's all the ingredients, everything that you'll need. You'll need like a casserole dish or Rotel. some diced tomatoes and green chilies, corn and pinto beans, and some sour cream. Yeah, I used that last. And butter, and you'll need the uh, ground beef and... And onions in it. Yeah, I'll let her explain everything to you and how, how to make it. Yeah, you brown your um, hamburger and uh, put onions in it and cook it in it. And then you drain it. And then you just come, uh, let me put it up a little bit. And then you come and add all your stuff. And uh, this is um, diced tomatoes and green chili. Now it's hot, so I only put a half a can. But if you like hot, you can put a whole can. Milton and Corey likes hot, but they're gonna do a little bit hot today. <laughs> yeah, we'll settle for Mama. <laughs> the, the other one that I made is kind of hot, more hot than this one. So, they can eat the other one, and I'll eat this one. I made one this morning, so uh, so we could uh, cut it up and show you what it looks like after we get it done. So, you put your um, diced tomatoes and green chili, and then you put your corn in. I really don't like this corn, but my son went downstairs in the pantry, and this is what he got me. But I particularly don't like this brand. It don't even, don't have the right color, but that's what he brought upstairs. So that's what I'm gonna use. And how many, how much onions do you put in there? I put one big onion in here. This is a pound, maybe a pound and a half of hamburger. That's what this is. And then a half a can of the uh, diced tomatoes and green chili. Then you put your corn in here. One can of corn. And then you can either put a half a can of this or get a smaller can and put in there. But I had the big cans of pinto beans, so that's what I'm using. And uh, I'm going to put all of it in there. So that's what I've got open. And you just uh, mix it up until it gets hot. But it'll get hot anyway. Just after you just mix it all up. And then we're gonna go over here in a little bit. Let me get it all. And this goes in the oven at 400. That's what we're gonna go. And it's till your cornbread gets brown on the top. And uh, it's however your uh, oven cooks. Yeah, she's gonna go show you how to make the cornbread part now. Yeah. And uh, you put it in the oven for, you preheat the oven to 400. Yeah. So this goes in here, let me dip it out. And this goes in the oven? Nope, this goes in here. And I can't, and I can't. Uh, yeah, it's get, a cast iron touch real heavy. So you put this in here. It's a real simple recipe. Um, Milton's mom used to call it a mess. That's what she called it. And uh, mom called me, uh, called it a lazy person. You just put it all together so you don't have to cook all day long. That's what she said. And, uh, but uh, it's good, it's real good. I put salt and pepper in here too, just a little bit. But, uh, I know we couldn't get it all in there, so I had to make the cornbread and had to make this, so we was trying to get it all in there for you. And I love this pan. Someone sent it to me. Yeah, she used yeah. it all the time now for everything. We cook eggs in it and everything. But I love it, love it, love it. All my pots and pans y'all sent me, oh man, y'all don't, y'all don't know. I've never had stuff like this. Oh, what I do with my, let me look. Yeah, she loves all of this stuff. All this stuff is sent to us. That spoon holder, all these uh, utensils, and all this stuff is a- We are filming, Miss Annie. And all this stuff is what was sent to her. Even this plates are- yeah. All this stuff, this little measuring cups, yeah, chicken. She loves it. My egg. Yeah, and her towel my, holder. My husband put two salt shakers. I said, that's supposed to be a salt shaker and, and a pepper. 
He said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fill them both with salt. Yeah. But this we got uh, uh, in the mail yesterday. I've never had one. It's a meat. And I love, that's what I've done my hamburger with. I love it. Never had one of these before. And it is so neat. But all my purple uh, and uh, yellow utensils, utensils, I love it. So this is what you do right here. Then you bring it over here. Nope, not done, not yet. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to go in the oven. No, not yet. <laughs> you bring it over here. And this is where we make our cornbread at. We'll need flour, cornmeal, and of course my uh, powder buttermilk. I love this. And you can't hardly find it here. And a little bit of oil, you use two eggs sugar and butter and so we're going to mix it all up and i forgot to get my water i got to get two cups of water let me get two cups of water if y'all are still watching out this part make sure to like and subscribe and here's all the gifts that we're about to be showing y'all here in a minute i'll go through everything and show everything that everybody sent and somebody sent us me and mama both a bracelet and i love it i'm already wearing it i'll wear it to church and stuff it's got a little cross on it. Mama's has got like a diamond and gold cross and hers is like pearls and stuff. I'll bring that show in Thank y'all so much for everything y'all do for us. I'll make sure to show all y'all's presents and gifts here in just a minute. And you see my apron? Yeah, somebody sent her these pins and somebody sent the apron. Home is where the heart, home is where I want to be. And then somebody in the envelope card sent me all these little chimes to put on my apron, little pins. A casserole dish, a cake, ice cream. But I went to get my two cups of milk. And it's a lot easier if you just put this in the flour. So I use uh, two cups of cornmeal. I use one cup of flour. Whoops, making a mess here. And I put, and I always oil my pan with butter. I put a little bit of butter in the bottom of my pan. And for, for my pan, uh, this here, I got uh, two cups of uh, water. So it's gonna take eight tablespoons yeah, tablespoons of uh, this mixture here. So here's one, two, and it don't have to be perfect. Three, four, I'm gonna have to get on my daughter. Five, six, seven. She's in on, on the phone with her friend and I can hear her in her laughing around. She's right next to the kitchen here. So she needs to be quiet. So just stir that up. But uh, I just put my powder in there. I put this, my water in here. And you just uh, then stir it up to what you need. And, uh, but I got two cups of water. Let's see if that'll do it. That's what it calls for, for the uh, milk. But uh, this is an easy recipe. i would been ages, ages since I fixed this. Maybe when I had foster kids, I used to fix stuff like this. But then after me and Milton got older and all the kids have done grown, and these here kind of... Um, get out and feed for themselves, fix for themselves what they like. And, uh, but uh, then once in a while I'll cook. And sometimes when we come home from church, Corey cooks. Them's the good days. <laughs> <laughs> He's picking up all my cooking things, so he cooks. Put in your butter. I, I've done a stick of butter, so I put some in my pan and I put uh, some in here. I put a lot. I like butter. This is not butter. This is margarine. You know, I call it. I call the margarine butter. That's what Mom always called it. But, so let me get.
get it. I might have to add a little bit more cornmeal to it because it's too, too soupy. I'm going to eyeball it, y'all. <laughs> uh, sometimes is, you gotta improvise. Yeah, this is what we do years ago. You improvised. Because I still gotta put a little bit of oil in it. And then my eggs. So that'll probably do it. I improvise there, y'all. If it's too soupy, add a little bit more cornmeal. You just need a little bit of uh, flour, though. Here's my two eggs. And these are eggs that uh, we collected uh, this morning. Uh, fresh farm eggs. Yep, fresh farm eggs. Here's Mama's bracelet I was telling y'all about. Oh, yeah. It's got like a little cross, cross thing on, on it. it. And it's got like pearls or whatever these are. Yeah. Like some type of stones or pearls. And, and it's... that's my color. I love that color too. I just like all colors, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She loves but purple and yellow and that that's back my teal. Favorite. Yeah, and teal. I like teal. But now, um, purple and yellow is my favorite. Okay. Yeah, she loves all these purple things. We already showed these measuring spoons and this yeah. all these purple bowls. We showed them in, in the last video yesterday. And so I'm going to get a half a cup of sugar. Yeah. One fourth cup of sugar. And uh, it's to your taste, whatever you like. I'm gonna put a fourth cup in there. And stir it up. It's a looking good. And then we put a little bit of this. It's canola oil. Eyeball it again. I got these spoons and things, but I'll eyeball it. Just a little bit. Maybe a tablespoon, because we already got the butter in there. So, but yeah, y'all have just, I mean, it's just overwhelming. All my friends and all my letters and where they're from. And there was someone from Africa. He wanted to know if he could send us some cards. Um, did he need to use a, another address? No, he don't. That what uh, Corey shows y'all is what you use. You don't have to put nothing else to it, even though it's from other places. Uh, because we get uh, England, different places like that. We get Australia. People send us uh, cards and stuff, and we get them. Now you take this and you pour it over your beans and meat. And, until you're completely covered. And it is really good. I made one this morning so uh, it wouldn't be too hot so I could show it to y'all. So, but, and we'll do that in a minute after I put this in the oven. And this is your supper right here, your bread, your meat, your everything, corn, beans, it's all in one. And you might not use all your stuff here. But here we go. She goes in the oven. I'll get the oven. And we just stick it up in there on 400. And that's it. And uh, we'll go in here to the table again. Can you carry this, Corey? And I'm going to show you what we'll have. She already made one earlier. That way y'all could see the end result and the end product of it. Yep. Oh. Okay. Now here's the end result. I might have to get my son the other one. Oh, let me get my spatula. It's got the cornbread on the top and all the meat and everything underneath it. Yeah. She's gonna scoop some out and taste test it for y'all. Yeah. And you can put sour cream on top if you like sour cream. 
Now, when we was at home, we put mayonnaise. We never did have none of this. I like sour cream on everything. Yeah, I do too. Now see, the beans and the stuff. See, it's all, the meal's all in one, all in one. And I'll put a little bit of sour cream. I like sour cream. You don't have to if you don't like it. But, but I, and I like a lot of sour cream, but I'm just gonna put a little dab on it. Like that. And then, where's Mel? He's asleep, ain't he? Yeah. He went to back there today and he got all the uh, mail and the gifts and stuff today. Y'all just, y'all are amazing. I have never. You don't know, they just made me want to cry when they come in here with all this stuff. But y'all are amazing. I love y'all. I pray for y'all all the time. I have the church to pray for you. So God is, y'all are blessing me, so I'm asking God to bless y'all. You know, but um, I'm going to take a bite and then I'll uh, read y'all some word. But this is really good. I'm telling you, it's good. You're going to have to try it. Mm. A big bite. Delicious. That's it. That's it. Let me get my Bible. Right here. Oh, did you show the gifts? No, not yet. You want me to oh. show it first before you read? Yeah, show the gifts before we read. All right, here's all the stuff that we got from yesterday and and today. There's all the gifts. I'll go through everything slowly. That way y'all make sure to see y'all's gift being shown. And I told y'all in the other videos before, if y'all send something, we'll make sure to show it on the video so we have to show everything that we get. Here's the cards that we got. Everybody on here that's... uh been a subscriber for a while now knows mama likes chickens so oh, yeah. <laughs> she's got a bunch of them she's got probably 100 chickens i'll cover up the address with that one and there's this uh flowers birds chickens more flowers and here's this uh yeah here's stamps hey we're going to be doing a giveaway very soon as soon as we get the aprons in that uh, mama's having made we're going to send them out we're going to pick five random subscribers and we're gonna do a video. We're gonna make a video on the giveaway too. And we're gonna give away some aprons, and we're gonna put a few other things in there for y'all in there, into the lucky winners package. And here's this. It says ChristianBook.com, and it sells all kinds of stuff on there. And we got a whole box filled with stuff that was sent from this place. And I think she's some lady from New York sent all the stuff, like all this this book and these all these Bible things these pencils and just all these cards and all this stuff uh, israel and these wooden things that all came from the same package but i'll go through it all now here's a pillow with sunflowers because mama loves sunflowers too and she's got hand towels and dish towels here's a cup that says blessed and here's another letter too that i just seen Here's this, like a coat hanger thing. She'll probably hang that in the living room somewhere. Here's some silicone spatulas and a dish scrubber thing. And here's a, something that's really cool. I think it's cool. It's a dish from Israel. It's a hand-painted uh, ceramic dish. And here's a hearts game, connecting hearts or something. And I think this might be like a bookmarks or something, maybe. But there's a whole big pack of them. It says the bridge. There's yeah. a little magnet. Yeah, we just got, uh, well, we it's been a while since we've been to Israel, but uh, we went on that trip um, with the brother. And uh, all this stuff comes from Israel. I love it. You know, I support Israel 100%. You know. 
but I love the stuff from Israel. Some measuring spoons, Bible trivia questions. We're probably going to try this out later or something. Yeah. Me and my mom and papa might sit down and just play some trivia. And here's some little milk Salt things. Pepper. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a milk container that they would uh, milk the cows in, but it's actually salt and pepper. Bunch of churn in. Yeah, like a butter butter churn thing. Here's more measuring cups and more bowls. Here's a cool little chicken thing that's got like a little secret. Mama loves this. She's been talking about it for like an hour now. How she wants to set it on her table, and she's probably gonna, she might put her rings in there or something because it pops open. Side of my yeah, because it, it opens up and you could put, like, your rings or something in there. And it's really nice. And she loves it because it's a rooster. <laughs> I like my hens, too, though. They lay me eggs. <laughs> yeah. And this is, like, a planner or something. And here's some highlighters. Not sure. If, oh, these are postcards. And here's some chicken socks for Papa and chicken socks for Mama. No, I think they sent them to you. Well, I I just give them to Papa because uh. He's a chicken man. Yeah, Papa <laughs> it is the one that normally goes and feeds the chickens, and he likes chickens too. And here's a uh, Explore Christ's Journey in the Holy Land. It's a card game. And here's in one of the videos we said that we didn't have any parchment paper, so we just used butter. And then somebody sent this. It's parchment paper sheets. There's 100 sheets, 200 sheets. And that's cool. We'll definitely use those too. Yeah. And here's a mitt, oven mitt, pot holder, dish some more dish towels. And these are really cool too. It's a book marker, but they're with Bible verses on it. And it's got, it folds over the page and it's magnetized on both sides. So it'll like, it clips onto the page. So these are really cool. And here's more chicken uh, poster thing that you hang up, you screw it into the wall or whatever. And it's James 1 and 2. It's a 10 picture that you hang up. Yeah, she said she's gonna hang that out on the porch. And these are really cool too. It's olive wood from Bethlehem. And it come from the person who sent that book and all this other stuff. The Israel stuff. Yeah, the Israel stuff. So I guess this come from Israel and so did this plate. Yeah, there's two of them. And here's, she loves purple, so somebody sent her all these dish towels, wash, wash, yeah, towels wash and rags and towels. and towels. And she was actually needing some towels, so now she got her some new towels. Yeah. Here's more dish towels, some silicone brushes. Here's some wooden spoons, spaghetti, uh, spaghetti dipper, whatever you call it. Here's more silicone spoons. And here's some Duke's mayonnaise somebody sent. This is supposed to be the best mayonnaise that there is, so we'll definitely try it out. We'll use it for sure. Yeah, I've never, I've never tasted it before. Never yeah, used it. I've never tried it either, but everybody said it's real good. And here's two mugs. I might sent it and they said one was for me and one was for Papa. But I might just give one to my mom and the other one to Papa. And here's some hand cream. My mom will definitely use that. And there's another mug in the back. And last but not least, there's this cool little cross thing. And it's got Bible verses on it. We'll have this on the table or something. Is that in the China cabinet? Yeah, so it won't get broken. Yeah. It's got a bunch of little Bible verses on it. It says Psalms 139 and 17, 1 Peter 5 and 7, 2 Thessalonians, Thessalonians 3, 3, Jeremiah 31, 3. And thank y'all so much for everything y'all do for us and everything y'all send us. It really means a lot. And we'll, we'll definitely use all this stuff. We'll use anything that y'all send us. I don't know if I showed this yet, but I think I did. Yeah, I did. But this is for any of the new subscribers that haven't seen yet or any new viewers that haven't seen it yet. Here's the P.O. box in case y'all want to send something. We'll make sure to show it in the video, and we'll use it in the video for y'all, anything y'all want to send us. And the PayPal is just for y'all uh, in the comments that 
recommended or requested me to make a PayPal, so I made the PayPal just for y'all. And you could pause it here, or you could picture it, or whatever you gotta do. And thank y'all so much again for everything. It really means a lot to us, everything y'all do for us. And God bless y'all. Now Mama's gonna read y'all a Bible yeah. verse. That uh, rooster thing there, Papa said he's gonna use it for his hats. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gonna put his hats on there. <laughs> That's what he said, hanging in the front room, put his hats on, he said. But, okay, um, I'm gonna be reading in Psalms um, 15. It says, uh, and this is the Psalms of David. It says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, C-O-N-T-E-M-N-E-D, and I looked that word up to really see what it uh, meant. And it means to treat people or regard with contempt. You know. But it says, But he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. And he that putteth not out his money to usury. And usury is the act of lending money at an interest rate that is considered unreasonable and it's illegal. Well, it said, He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. But uh, God is good, you know, and uh, we can. We can go to him any time, go to his uh, church, you know, and uh, feel his presence and worship him, you know. We need to walk like God would have us to walk and do what he says to do in his word, you know. And that's what I try my best to do. I try to love everybody. Like uh, Jesus uh, walked on the earth and he loved everybody, you know. But uh, that's what we're supposed to do is to love and do what the word says. And that's, that's what we're doing. We're, and we're trying to spread the word to let people know that Jesus is coming soon and that we need to be ready to meet him, you know. So uh, I hope everybody um, uh, goes to church, read your word, uh, talk to God because he hears you. He answers prayer, you know. It's not when we want him to. It's when it's the right time he will answer it. I love you all. Y'all take care, and you you are a blessing. I thank God for you all. Thank y'all so much again for everything. Thank y'all for all y'all's gifts again and again. It really means so much to us. And God bless y'all. God bless you.